What it do, too? Your boy, we back on deck. Alright, man. I done saturated this shit about as much as I really could with no avail. Only for the simple fact, there's really nothing I can get on there to break it loose. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to end up cutting this bitch. Like, fuck it. Once I cut the pipe, that should allow me to get a socket on top and call it a wrap. Let me break y'all into the situation. Turn this shit into a lituation. So, dermal on deck. Got all my accessories if need be. Now again, ah, with the bolt, I'm gonna be cutting just about right here. You guys can see that. point to it yeah perfect so i'm gonna be cutting right here towards the base maybe not all the way right at the base but maybe like right here quarter of an inch up just so i can cut this damn pipe and that'll give me the opportunity to get the Get the boat off man get a socket on there and we could do the damn thing so hopefully that is not going to stop the flow of anything but um yeah that's what we about to do right now team cut this shit and let's call it a wrap man i'm not even out here to play games anymore that new part coming in today like i said i done saturated the bolt so now worst come to worst scenario just cut this shit throw the uh socket on that bitch and it should be coming right out team so i'm gonna keep y'all in the loop get this install popping all right safety first team if you're doing any cutting on anything anywhere in the car above below on the side always need safety glasses two get you some gloves man gotta have some gloves keep them sparks off you and of course you gotta have your dermal man get ready to cut it up so that's what we doing right now team uh, i'm about to get in here and cut this shit let's get this shit out like yesterday Like I said, your boy OG is in here playing no games, man. Funny shit, I bought this damn dermal. Like, straight up, just to do the carbon fiber. Man, I've been cutting shit left and right with this shit. I'll be daring shit not to come out so I could use this shit. But um, back to business, team. Yeah, we got to cut started nice and right. That look like that looked like a nice height. I ain't want to get too close to the bottom you know what i mean because i really didn't want to take the risk of damaging the nut in any way shape or form so when i do get that socket and i drop that bitch on there we should be good so uh let me just finish cutting this shit off let me show y'all what it looked like dermal in action Cutting this shit, team. Your boys in here playing no games. YouTube, I know y'all see it, man. I know y'all see it. Me and this dermal putting in this work, man. I'm just taking my time because I don't want to do no asshole shit. And I'm just trying to cut it straight and not at a slant. But, um, I mean, if I need to get a, a deep extension socket to fit it, you know, I'm not 100% sure what the size is going to be. But we going to figure that shit out. But, um, yeah, slow progress. But I take slow progress over no progress, baby. So, like I said, I really couldn't get anything on the rear back here. The crawl foot wrenches that I had, them shits was too small. Like, biggest size I had was a 22, and that was too small. So, this might be a 23 millimeter, possibly. That's what I might lean towards. But I'll probably just pick up a 23 and a 24 size socket. And, um, yeah, team, I'm going to just finish cutting this shit off. We in here. And, uh... Yeah.
Get back to y'all, let y'all know how I go down, man. Show y'all that finished J. Alright, we out, man. Play no goddamn games with y'all, man. Like, cut this shit down. This shit is off. So now, back to seeing what's good. Like I said, cutting this shit, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Go with the socket. My plan B is just to make my plan A work. Let's do it. Hey right, team. Now that we got this shit cut, now it is time to get back to doing what we do best and soaking this motherfucker till I go get that socket that I need. Let's go, baby. Ladies and gents, we're cut. So, got this bitch all the way off. I mean, a smidge higher than where I would have wanted it, but I ain't complaining, in all honesty. Um, yeah. Can't complain in all honesty. Shut some light on that. There we go. So you can see that shit is, I mean, not clean cut, but shit, shit got cut. Definitely cut that off. So now I just need to find a 23, maybe 24 socket to fit that. And let's get it. Oh yeah, we cut. Everything is Gucci now. Back to the saturation. Not in there. Boom. Alright. Let's go get what we need, baby. Do what the hell we gotta do. Alright, two. Shit came in. You already know. Time to switch shit out. Let's get some work done. Fresh uh, pipe on deck. Well, used pipe on deck. Uh, fresh, though. In good condition. Came off of 06 Maxima SL. Um, we good though. Interchangeable, no biggie. Uh, lock nut right here. Again, this is what was so corroded and damn near welded on. I'm gonna see if I could put some grease on just in case I need to take that shit off. Then same thing down here. Got the screw. I can actually take this and see what would fit it perfectly. Matter of fact, let me do that. Gotta cut it a little bit more. Have a little bit too much access. Booyah. All right, team, it's official. That shit is a 24 inch. I got a 23, and that was just a bit too small. So a 24 should do it. About to go pick that shit up right now. I'm gonna just saturate this a little bit more before I go, and go get it. Whoo, two to the team, baby. That shit was a 24 inch socket. Broke that bitch loose. I don't know if y'all can hear it in my voice that I'm fucking ecstatic. Like now I can move forward with the project. I hate being stalemated, man. Know what I mean? My car ain't give me a checkmate. That shit put me in a stalemate right quick. But readjusted, got everything. Um, just again, uh, let me throw this in the air. Now that I'm really thinking about it, I had a few days to sit back and reflect on how I fucked up. Let me give this to y'all. Let me walk, walk y'all through this right quick, because I swear to God, man, anybody comes to me talking about doing their EGR valve, from the rip, if that shit don't come off, I'm cutting that shit. Dead ass, boy boy. So, just to give y'all my two cents on this EGR joint, I would suggest you probably try and break loose the lock nut on the back before you remove the two 12 millimeter bolts just for the simple fact that two 12 millimeter bolts are going to keep it secure and that might have been where i made my vital mistake and the reason that my pipe broke but 
still at the same time, I want to share the info with you guys. That could definitely help you out and make it a little bit more firm so you can break it loose. Uh, I mean, it's kind of tight. I'm not 100% sure if you guys would be able to get a wrench on here. But this, this, this is the lock nut. And it was really because this shit was seized on. I couldn't really break it loose. And then once I took the two bolts out and I'm trying to break this loose, the whole damn pipe broke right here in the middle. Just snapped on me. So we got we got the other one coming out right now. I'm going to get that out. I'm going to get back to work so I can finish this shit off. So I could give y'all them sound checks, baby. I know y'all been waiting for that. So I'm going to try to hit y'all with the whole kit and caboodle. See if I can hit y'all with the in in cabin out of cabin sound check you know give y'all a little drive by and yo y'all could take a daily drive with your boy man or whatever the hell i feel like going man just ride with me you dig but let me finish this egr valve uh i'm gonna kind of just really quickly just keep y'all in the loop when i'm reinstalling just to give y'all the visual but we in the money right now let's get it Shed some light. Finally got this fucking lock. I fault this screw shit out from the bottom of the EGR pipe. As you can see. Uh, exactly the same joint. We're good. So I'm just going to see if I can uh, spray some lube on here. And just start screwing it in. But what I'm actually going to do. Let me get in here. Now that I actually have it out and what i'm probably gonna do is again i'm probably gonna uh spray some lube in there you know just so this next one can go in real easy run upstairs grab that and yeah team finally got that shit out man uh anybody that's going through this issue the pipe snaps or the egr valve is not coming out and you do have to cut the pipe it's a 24 millimeter socket you're gonna need to hook on to that nut and break it loose and get it out so it's out super ecstatic let's get this bitch back together i ain't drive my bitch all week super vexed but i'm glad it's out all the parts is on deck let's get this money so we in there team egr pipe uh again this is the exhaust egr pipe um, got it screwed in there finish finger screwing it put some lube in there that was definitely a good look that shit screwed all the way down to the base with my fingers and now I'm just gonna use this small ass vice grip just to tighten it up and that's gonna be this one that'll be good money then um let me get my Airtex EGR valve and the PCV valve um, again if you got the 0408 Nissan Maxima. Your EG, uh, your PCV valve is behind your intake manifold back left right here. When I take this hose off, you'll be able to see it. You could actually see the bottom of it right here. So, stay in the loop, team. I'll be right back with you, baby. Night, right, Playboy. You already see it. Um, I'm debating if I should put the EGR valve on first. You know put the two screws through the side and then try and fit it but i'm thinking i'm gonna fit it first into the lock nut like just do shit backwards from the way i, I was trying to take it off like i'm going to put it on the lock nut first and then put the bolts on just like when i was taking it off i should have broken the lock nut first and then taking the bolts out being that it would have been more sturdy you know what i mean but i'm thinking just to have it lined up properly, I definitely want to start to screw it into that lock nut so we'll be good. I mean, it looks like it lines up. You know, if I got to do a little bending or anything, we can do that. But yeah, let's see what's up. I would tell y'all to just wait on it, but y'all see it, man. We in here. Something light. Do the goddamn thing. EGR back in team, we looking good. Everything is lined up. Was able to tighten the rear exhaust pipe a little bit more with my needle nose pliers. Crazy as a bitch, my dude. I'm talking it was like a half 
a centimeter turn, you know what I mean? Uh, crazy, but got it tight, as tight as it could possibly be. Um, what we also got going on now, we're just gonna reinstall the hoses and put everything back together, Tim. You know, um, once I got this shit back together, I keep y'all in the loop and, uh, you know, let y'all know how it turned out. We'll check the fuel trims together, make sure we really not getting any positive numbers or anything like that. But, you know, we should be rocking out with our cocks out, you dig? Pardon my French. But, yeah, nah, definitely hell of a job, man. Like I said, uh, definitely. Before you break loose these two 12 millimeter bolts on the side, break loose this lock nut. Like, I put it back on, but I didn't want to put it too tight. So, uh, it's, it's snug, but it's not like banjo tight. So, we just got to put everything back together and we good to go. Let's get it, baby. So, tube, as you can see, we back together, baby. Fresh EGR in there. And um, I'll just put my intake manifold, everything back together. Put the EGR valve pipe back on there. So... Yep, going on one o'clock now. I say four o'clock, five o'clock, you know what I mean? Something in that ballpark. We should be ready to come out and start this bad bitch up and take her for a test drive, man. I've been waiting to do this shit all week. Anyway, stay tuned, y'all. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't be a straggler. Ride that wave, baby. Let's go. Surf's up. Yep, and that is a wrap.